So Francis unfortunately went home back to Canada. It was really quick. Um, the team didn't really get a chance to say goodbye. and. Francis decided he was going to leave yesterday instead of trying to stay out here in California and try to stay on one of the teams. He needed to decide very quickly. He had to decide on a Friday because his school started Monday in Canada and I completely get that. Francis is, was my best friend here so like I'm really sad that he didn't decide to leave. We talk to each other like to each other every day and we're still talking every day so like just weird because I can't see him anymore, like we, we're not hanging out. I've made such close bonds with all these boys. It's really hard for me. It, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like you're losing one of your best friends that you've had for years. Hey guys, look at Francis posing. Nice leg. Wow, Francis, look at him flex his arms. Wow. We become such a close puzzle that when a piece is missing, it's just like not the same. It made more sense for him to go home and make himself better. He's a great kid and I'm hoping to see him again in tryouts. I think you don't have to discourage yourself and when it doesn't work, well, you keep trying it and you know, when, it, when you fall, when you get back up and no regrets, absolutely no regrets. Hey guys! Hey! My vision is awful. Things have to be like two inches away from my face for me to be able to see them clearly. So when we were at her house last time, it was like the middle of the night and I wanted something to drink and we go downstairs in the kitchen, she is like all up on everything, like making sure that it's what she thinks it is because she was blind as a bat. I've been cheering forever and glasses just made it super hard for me to cheer in because they'd fall off and break all the time. Did you just get like new contacts too? Yeah, I just went to the optometrist like a couple days ago to help. So I went to the optometrist and they gave me AccuView brand contact lenses. It's making it easier for me to see where I'm going when I'm tumbling and stunting. And it's making it easier for me to just understand where I am when I'm doing everything. So you can actually see when I'm at your house now? Yeah. Ready for practice? Let's go. So today we're here for choreography. It's a lot. It's a lot of material that we're covering in one day. We're here for seven hours. We get a 20 minute break and that is it. Hey guys. Last week during tumbling, we were tumbling onto stacked mats, and I kind of like missed the mat, and my ankle like twisted off the side, and it popped. It was really swollen and bruised, and then I went to the doctor and got some x-rays, and it turns out it's sprained, and there's some stress ligaments, but there's no breaks. Oh. Since now that there was four boys set, it just kind of is, it's really crappy that I got her now. Go. One, hold it, three, four, five. Can you guys set up the uh, opening? Luke Johnson, who works with choreography, comes out and works with us every season. Hey guys, um, my name is Luke. Um, I'm gonna here to give you guys a, some routine deal today. Same team, same dream. Focus on both having the same like outcome for today that your routine is hot. Yeah, cool. These choreographers are coming in here to give us a routine that's going to help us win worlds. So I'm just excited for the team to get to experience this. I think it's a good idea opening all the tofuls together. I think so. In the basket. That would be impressive. Smell it's top notch. Every year we're transitioning from doing those basics to actually working on like cool transitions. And those wow factors that you need in a routine. All right, be sweaty and be ugly. Here we go. Be sweaty and ugly. Oh, that's Jonah. He's actually on the team. That's Enrique. That's Jonah's double. Enrique is like practicing in my spot, so like it's kind of scary. He's learning all the same choreography as me. Don't move. Okay. Enrique is the official alternate for the boys on the team, so Enrique is jumping in for Jonah, learning his spots, learning his choreography. During practices, he runs his stunts just so that stunt can keep getting practice in. Enrique, he works so hard 
and he's always in the gym. He's in the gym more than I am. He practically lives here. Every time I'm here, he's here. So, um, and he does really well. He's grown a lot. It's really inconvenient that I got injured now because we're learning the routine and everything needs to start happening now. What scares me is that he has all the tumbling and he has the stunts. Enrique, he'll be a contender if in the event something happens or someone's not pulling their weight. It puts him in a great position. I just want to get back out there again. Yeah, really anxious. <laughs> Showcase is coming up soon, so we really need to hurry up and get everything together so we can have something to show everyone. Can you go into an assisted cartwheel on her and hold her upside down? Okay. This mode has a specific look. The skills that we do in our routines are very specific. Stand up on five, snake, seven, up. There you go. Easy cheesy. You guys can make it all the way to the half. He's very familiar with what I look for. I'm more concerned about the execution of skill. I'm pretty good with motions. I'm pretty good with memory. It's more of an endurance thing. Sometimes I get too tired and I get lazy with my motions. Show me that three, please. Nice and pretty. All right, let's see how this four yard is. Seven, eight, one hand hit. Boom. Make it right, make it cute. The goal is to make sure they know it when I leave and that Eddie doesn't have to clean it as much. Smile. Give me spice, give me sugar, give me something not dry paint. Squeeze, here we go. eddie has been drilling for us to do facials and to get into the routine and have it be perfect so we don't have to keep cleaning things up later on. Seven, lame. One, two, stop. You're right up the center with these motions. What are you doing? Are you shaking off please? Step back up, quickly. Right now, if you're not clean, you're going back. You're like, you have to be sharp and everything, so. Why are you going before her? She hasn't been done. Where are you going? It's kind of scaring me a bit because I have to work, so I'm not the boy who's getting the team down. Come on, you know what's gonna happen when he walks in here. It's not clean, he's gonna make us change it. Here we go, do it again. Do it with the lift, please. Try it again. Make these formations pretty, y'all. And from the beginning, one and two and three and four and five. It's been repetitive because sometimes people don't smile or it's just different things. Stop, you look like a walrus. Get your head inside your handstand. Do it again. It's just, it's really hot and kind of frustrating sometimes when you don't get the motions. And Drop down on five, six. Practice it. No, no, stay standing. I, being very nitpicky, we can't go out there with a routine full of crazy arm motions and it just doesn't work for us. So three and a half hours, can you get a lunch break? Take a break when you die. We're learning a lot of choreography and it's really, really, really hot. And we were all like, just standing there, like trying to learn, like absorb all the choreo. So, Every now and then I turn around, there's kids twerking and having a dance contest in the corner. It's just people are going crazy and <laughs> doing a lot of stuff, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's about 100 degrees inside the gym right now, and we'd never get weather like this. I think they're just delirious. Me and my teammates thought it would be funny to just kind of make some floor work for me and just roll around on the floor with my crutches and scoot around during the routine, so. Boom. And then you're gonna put that leg down, Maddie. <laughs> Luke is a great energy. He's great with kids. I got long legs. You're underestimating these legs. It's good for them to feel and experience other voices and play around because their practice is strictly business and they know, get in line, don't talk, let's sweat, let's go. So, it's good for them. I smell it's always really great, and they're making it right, though. All right, whole thing, guys, from the beginning. You can do this, let's go. Kids have done a great job over the summer. We have a lot of big plans for this routine. It's great to see it come together. Hey guys, it's Jonah. Thanks for watching Cheerleaders, and don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV.